Okay, so what we're going to do today is we have the blender here and we're going to make our own uh, butter. And how we're going to do that is I have a jug here of whipped cream and it's uh, whipping cream. Now that's the only really thick cream you can get here in Canada. You can't really get heavy cream like uh, you can down in the States. But um, I'm going to add that in. And it's 500 milliliters, which is two uh, cups. And then I'm going to use the blender. And it's going to take 10 minutes to do. And I'm going to do it in two minute intervals. So I'm just going to place that on the top for it non sprays out at us. I'm going to turn it on. So I'm just going to uh, fast forward till I have it about 8 minutes because you don't want to actually watch me do it for the full 10 minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward. So as you can see after the first two minutes of it being uh, blended, you can actually see that it's starting to solidify. So we're going to continue and do it for another two intervals and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. So we're halfway through. I just wanted to take a peek in there and see what it looks like. I'll show you. This. As you can see, it's actually starting to turn into butter. 
and it looks fantastic. So I'm going to continue to uh, beat it for another four minutes, two minutes at a time. And I'll show you what it looks like in the end. So I'm just going to fast forward to the end and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, we have the uh, butter, the homemade butter there that we made. So I'm going to put it in a container and store it in the fridge and use it. And it's a lot cheaper to do it this way than it is to buy a block by the looks of it. So I'm definitely going to do it again. And thanks for watching.